introduce one of the state senators that was bold enough to stand up against male control. And we are saying that Senator Bill Perkins from Harlem, we thank you for standing strong for our parents. And as he comes forward, I also want to acknowledge that there are many, many teachers and assistant principals some principals who were bold enough to put it on the line and come out and stand up for our children. That's Let's right. give our teachers, assistant principals, a big hand clap. Senator Bill Perkins. Right. In male control. a piece of legislation that was noted to require that this process be ultimately be decided by the state legislature retroactively otherwise I think we'll have a problem it has to be retroactively because we do not want it to be prospectively we want it to go back in order to apply to the present circumstances number one Number two, let's be clear. Kathy Black is sending two messages. Number one, qualify, qualifications do not count. What counts is who you know, not what you know. So remember, parent, when your child is ready for graduation, even if they don't qualify, they can borrow the credentials of one of their classmates that may be AP qualified. Qualified. That's the message that they're sending. It's called, in layman's terms, cheating. When you're teaching your children that cheating counts. Wrong message. The second message is that our public schools are being privatized. Now let us not ignore the real public policy at issue right here. Privateers are taking over our public education system. We're going to the private sector, not to the educational sector, not to those who have been teachers and who are concerned about the education of our children, but those who are concerned about the profits that our public schools provide, the contracts that our public schools provide. And this is not unique to New York, but New York is pivotal to that movement. So the privatization of our public schools is very, very important. And the message must be in privatization. In privatization. In privatization. In privatization. Last but not least, I want to most humbly express my appreciation to these parents, to these very bold, brave parents that despite the odds, Despite the odds, as parents, especially you mothers, will always go stand strong and tall in defense of what's right and in defense of your children. Right. I cannot thank you enough for the fact that we are here because you are here. You started this movement. You are the movement that whether we win the lawsuit or not, will prevail. We will win. Lawsuit or not, we will prevail because of your leadership, because of your children at stake. Our future is at stake when your children are at stake. Our future is at stake when your children are at stake. And you know that, and you have been valiant, you have been bold, you have been brave, and you have been demanding that your children, our children, get the first class education they deserve from the leadership of an educator, That's right. not from the leadership of a capitalist who is interested only in making money right. out of our system. Right. The privatization of our system has to end in every manifestation from the top to the classroom to even, if I may dare so say, the charter schools. Thank you so much.